ladies, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we will finally be reviewing the new Glam Light Paint Palette. So if you guys wanna see everything that this is about, then definitely keep on watching. All right guys, so we'll be channeling our inner Bob Ross today and we're gonna paint some happy trees on my face and some happy accidents. You know, I actually love Bob Ross and I love a lot of his paintings and I will, mark my words, I will do a tutorial on my channel with his paintings, either on my face, on a canvas, I do not care what, but I will be doing a Bob Ross inspired video because I freaking love them <laughs> all right so I actually ordered the paint palette god look how big this is like takes out my whole camera I actually ordered the paint palette I want to say a month ago but it was on pre-order and so it said it wasn't going to ship out until like the end of August and I actually completely forgot about this and then I was like oh my god did I even order it to begin with and then I actually went to go check the mail on Monday and I was like ah, it's I was so beyond excited. So yeah, I'm gonna open this like literally on camera with you guys. But before I do, I'll tell you guys a little bit of facts about this about this palette. So this palette is a limited edition palette and it retails for $45. Introducing Paint Palette, the most viral and epic makeup product of our generation. Glam Light has been transforming the cosmetics industry by pushing limits of creativity and innovation to create the most iconic products the world has ever seen. This is our masterpiece. The paint palette contains 18 of our most vibrant and ultra pigmented shadows that were meticulously created based on physical paint colors through the art of makeup by creating the most bold and daring looks. Let life and your face be your creative canvas as you unleash your creativity with the most iconic palette in the history of cosmetics. Yay! So this is such a damn cool concept. Like it, it literally has finger holes. Oh, it has like finger holes, like an actual like little paint palette. Oh my god. I could be really like I could be Bob Ross. I could be Bob Ross right now. And it has a little let me get it. It's hard to do one-handed. It has a little paintbrush. Oh my god. Don't judge. Uh this is a huge brush, but I mean, I'm assuming I can do it for the eyes. Oh, it's kind of big. But this is the Glam Light Paint Palette. Now, I've never tried Glam Light before. I know they have a pizza palette and a burger palette, which I wanted to get the burger palette because I saw a Robbie Chrissy video on it. Stunning! And I was like, why didn't I ever get that? But then I saw this and I was like, <laughs> Oh my God, I give you Bob Ross. I could create happy trees on my face. So I had to get this, even though I literally have like every single one of these colors in my James Charles artistry palette, my Morphe palettes, like I have all these colors and I didn't need them, but like I needed the palette, you know what I'm saying? So there are 18 shades in this palette. I'm so surprised that I have not messed up reading yet. This is a first for me. <laughs> but there are 18 shades in this palette and the total like size of this palette is actually 36 grams, which actually really isn't that bad. And then it makes it about $2.50 a shadow, which isn't that bad when you compare it to other palettes. I unfortunately don't know how this palette will perform, because like I said, I've never messed around with um, Glam Light before. But I think this is super cute, and I really love this concept. And it has like basic names, black, brown, red, orange, yellow, green, royal blue, navy blue, purple, fuchsia. I think this is so cool. I love it. Where do, where do I even begin? I mean, I guess I could try to do like a rainbow look, but I feel like that's like so stereotypical. I feel like everybody would do a, bang, a rainbow look with this. But like at the same time, what other look could I do with this? I could do like orange, blues, but I feel like I always do that. I feel like with a paint palette, I should do a rainbow look. Right? I'll be like that basic ass bitch. I don't do what everybody else does. I mean, <laughs> I already got my pumpkin spice latte for this season. I already started off. So might as well just do that as well. I'm like, I'm rocking my artistic vibes today. I have my, you know, I have my hair and a braid with like a nice lazy cardigan. And I'm actually super lazy. I did not want to get off the couch to film this because I literally spent all morning editing two videos, answering business emails. And then I was like, let me just watch 13 Reasons Why. And then I, um, 
I end up not doing that. I end up watching uh, YouTube. But Corey went to school and I was like, I guess I'll film. <laughs> Plus I promised you guys five videos this week, so I will deliver. But we're going to attempt to do the rainbow. How well we'll do? I don't know. <laughs> but we're gonna test my artist skills. You guys are actually really sweet to me. You guys tell me all the time that I am an artist and I create such beautiful looks and I'm, I'm a professional. And let me tell you right now, I am not by any means. There are some amazing, talented artists out there. I am not one of them. I just try like really, really hard to concentrate. So we're gonna try to be like professional Bob Ross today and we're gonna create happy accidents on my face. And if it turns out well, well then it turns out well. If it turns out bad, well then we know I'm not Bob Ross, even though I'm, I'm gonna try to be for Halloween, Bob Ross. That's one of my looks, cause why the fuck not? <laughs> All right, how does the rainbow look again? I remember, is it like, is it red, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple? So I guess I should start off purple, or should I start off the inside, work my way outside? Oh, I feel like I should start on the inside, work my way outside, because I feel like I'll fuck up, so I probably should do it that way. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna create some looks. So let me grab my little artistry brush palette. So this look is gonna require me to dig into the Jeffree Star <laughs> brushes. And we should probably go with one that's gonna like get in the nitty gritty and not be afraid to be like a little dirty hoe and spread herself around really, really easily. Uh, let's see, you are JS6. And JS6 is a rule blender brush. Ooh, ooh, you could work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm dicking around because I'm just dicking around. All right, so the rainbow is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Isn't there like a song to that or an acronym? There has to be now. I swear there was like an acronym to rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Oh, indigo. I don't have an indigo violet. I don't have an indigo, but I do have a violet, but it is sparkly. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna start off with my um, JS6 Rule Blending Brush. I would try to use the little paintbrush I have in here, but it's just a little bit too big for my eyes. And we're gonna, um, we're gonna dig into the happy accidents right here. This is the red color. Wow, there's like no kick up in this palette. Wow, so cool, so cool. What kind of word is that? And we're gonna just pop it. Mm, I don't know if this is the right brush. Oh boys, oh boys, you know what? I'm gonna go to my handy dandy brush that I know would work out so well blending out colors and that's gonna be my Luxe 229 tempered, 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 tempered blending brush. We're gonna lay this right here. Lord, I hope I'm doing this right. You know, I don't know this brush is right. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. We're gonna try going into Jacqueline's brush. Jacqueline, don't let me down. You have before in the past. Oh, I don't know. Does that look that red to you? I feel like I look so stupid right now. Holy crap. Oh, 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 oh my God, I'm so sorry. Forgot, forgot. I feel like I'm starting to look like Padme from Star Wars. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting right now. But, I mean, I'm laying down the red. I just don't know if I did the best job. Mm. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna move on to the next color. Let me, um, we're gonna move on to orange. We're gonna place that right here. You know, makeup artists make this look really easy on YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna apologize right now. I gotta get, you know, um, really, really close to this mirror to really tell how well the blending is doing. Oh, come on, light. We're bringing it up extra high today because I'm probably gonna do a cut crease and do some sort of like cool, like, color on the lid. And I'm like hunching, I'm like hunching because I'm so uncomfortable with trying to be like super creative. So, all right, let's um, clean this off. Where is my brush cleaner? No! All right, the next color, <laughs> yellow. 
Yeah, well, there is like seriously, okay, well there's some kick up in that one, but really not that bad. Not that bad at all. This is very difficult to try to manage both of the little hurt pinky. So we're gonna pretend I'm holding the palette. I'm sort of place that right here. Mm, she's coming along, she's coming along. All right, blending skills. You know what? I'm okay with there being defined lines. I am okay with that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be, cause I don't wanna ruin the look. All right, so the next color is green. Thank God they have this like in order. Red, orange, Roy, Jib, green, blue, indigo, violet. Is navy blue? Is that is that considered violet? All right, so we're just painting on some happy trees, happy trees, guys. You just. I look like a skittle. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> oh, you can clearly see how great the blending skills are. I'm trying to be like as delicate as possible, but it's not the easiest to do when you're trying to like not erase the other color, but it's really, really hard not to. I'm not even gonna lie, like I don't know how some of these beautiful artists out here do this without like Seriously, they're erasing the color and they have such amazing blending skills. I'm over here like, just erase the other color. You know what I'm saying? I look so stupid. Ah, all right, so the next color we're going into is Royal Blue. Oh man, this is so silly. I cannot wait for Corey to see this. He's gonna be like, what did you do? <laughs> oh my God. Oh man, I was not intending on putting on lashes today, but I think I might have to put on some lashes, you know what I'm saying? Does anyone else do that out there when they're trying to concentrate? They're like, I swear, I do that every single time I'm trying to concentrate. Okay, softly put the trees down and just blend. Okay, so we're gonna go into purple because I don't have violet or indigo, I think that could be, but we're running out of like eye space, so we're gonna end it with purple right here. Oh yeah, we're gonna clean that up. Don't worry though, because it's very messy. So purple is the only one that's starting to have fallout on the actual palette. On that, these colors are blending. Well, they're attempting to blend. I'm trying not to let it blend, but these colors have so much pigment in, them, and they're laying down so beautifully. Like 100% so beautifully these colors are laying down. I, for some reason, made more space on this side than I did on this side. <sighs> I look like a clown. That's what this is. Oh my God, I kept going, why does this look so familiar? It's a freaking clown afro. Duh. That is what I am looking at right now. Mm, yeesh. Okay. She ain't so bad. She's not. Concealer. Come little concealer and blend me away. Make my eyes look nice and pretty. All right. My pumpkin spice latte has been hitting the spot. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry to deal with me. I don't even know why you guys watch me at this point. Like, I feel like I'm annoying. <laughs> Come test the rainbow. All right, so this is how you know that I was a child that didn't know how to draw inside the line. Uh, that is a very crooked line for cut crease. <laughs> I was never magical at that. I literally always drew outside the line. I can't cut a straight line to save my life. <sighs> All right, so I can't draw on the lines, but um, what should I do next? Well, let's look at this gold color. Let's swatch this. Let's look at this gold color. Oh, wow. That is gold. Ooh. All right, what about light green? You know, this is not a light green. Come on, who are they fooling? That is a stunning color though. Wow, oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my God, I'm running out of finger room. 
get off my finger. Okay, let's go with turquoise. Ooh, that shimmer feels, oh my God. I can't even just sentence because of how beautiful these are. Swatch that. Oh my God, that was like a perfect swatch. This is sapphire. Let's see how sapphire. Oh. All right. Well, well, well. Unbelievable. Then we have violet. Oh my God. What is this magical nonsense on my fingers? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. One last one. We'll do it the clean finger. White. Let's see how white looks. Ready for the magic. Unmagical, but damn, finger stained. That's okay. So let's have some fun with these colors, shall we? All right, I need a little brush. You, I need a smaller brush. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna go into this white right here and we're gonna start to put this on the lid. Ooh, should I do white or should I do gold? Oh, okay, I have an idea. We're gonna do both, because why not? Ooh, yes, this is what I want. You know what, it doesn't necessarily even go together, but I do not care in the slightest. It's getting a little messy, but whatever. We're gonna make it work. We are gonna make this bad boy work. I'm gonna sure out one of these colors on the lid. You know what? You know what? We're gonna go with my choice. We're gonna we're gonna go for it. We made this choice. We're gonna stick to it. You know, this is not gonna be one of the best looks in the world, but whatever. Just go for it. You know what I'm saying? Definitely not one of my finer looks, but whatever. I I honestly don't give a crap. All right, so we're gonna go into this color violet right here. We're gonna take on this little brush, and we're gonna pack it underneath. Just right here. So this will show you guys that I'm not an artist by any means, but you know what? I'm also not afraid to go for it. If I look stupid in the end, then guess what? I look stupid. It's makeup, it washes off. But you know, I just wanted to have fun with this palette because this is a painter's palette and I was creating happy trees on my face. All right, the next color we're gonna go into is, I guess I gotta go for turquoise. Then we're gonna go for a light green. And then I guess the only color I can go for maybe is like burgundy. This is like a pinky. We're just gonna put that right here. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to attempt to save this look as best I can. Off camera, I'm gonna come back and give you guys my final look, but you know what? Even if it looks stupid, guys, at the end of the day, it's makeup and I went to have fun with this palette and I did. I went out of my comfort zone and I tried to do something that I am not a professional at, but screw it. Let's go and finish the rest of my face off camera, guys, and I will be right back. All right, guys, so this is the final look, and it's not my best look, and it's not my favorite, but it's like not the worst either. Um, I know I didn't do the best job at doing this, but you know what? That is the beauty of makeup. You live and you learn, and at the end of the day, it's just makeup, and makeup is for everybody. Makeup is for the young, the old, the gay, the straight, the male, the female. Makeup has no labels, and it literally is for everybody out there, and that is why I love it so much. So even though this is not my best look by any means, and I have a lot of improvement that I need to do, I still am proud of myself for even trying it. Like I went out of my comfort zone and I tried to attempt a look that I had no idea what I was doing. I just went for it and it needs a lot of improvement, but at the end of the day, I'm so happy that I tried. And that's all that matters is that I tried, I went for it. Was it a success? <laughs> no, no, not at all. But you know what, it's still not a hideous look. I definitely think the lashes helped to save the day. And I am wearing my lashes from MB Lashes right now in the style rain. But overall, like I'm really glad that I went for it. And I actually think this is a really cool concept. This is definitely a great artistry palette. This palette is probably not for someone like me per se who is not a professional at makeup whatsoever, but it's fun to play around with. Like I could definitely use this for any type of creative looks I wanna go for, any type of Halloween looks I wanna go for, or just if I just wanna use some of these amazing shimmers that literally perform beautifully. That is what this palette is for. I definitely, like I said, I wanted to try something different. I wanted to try doing like a rainbow look and do something that most people can achieve that I clearly cannot. 
But overall, I still really love the palette. I love the concept. The shimmers performed beautifully, like such pigments. The mattes have so much pigmentation to it. The shadows blended so easily into each other, and there's virtually any fallout. There's none on the face, and there's barely any in the pan. So I'm really glad that I tried this. Even though it is a $45 palette, it's kind of on the expensive side. This is a limited edition. I'm assuming all their palettes tend to be limited edition, but I think this concept is so cool. It came in a really, really nice packaging, so it came just like this. And on the inside, I do have like a little floater brush just kind of floating around. It would be really cool to use this, like this brush, but unfortunately it's so big. I wish I would have done like a smaller brush, but it's still a cool concept nonetheless. And I'm really, really glad that I got to somewhat emulate my Bob Ross tutorial, which will be coming. That will be coming. But yeah, I think it's such a cool idea. And like I said, it's not my best look by any means. But you know what, guys? I went for this. And I hope this helps you guys branch out of your comfort zone and go for looks that you might want to try. Because guess what? If it fails and doesn't look good, you can always wash it off. That's the beauty of it. So yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. Please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because I do post three videos a week. Also, make sure you guys head over to my other channel, Our Florida Life. You can see my cool, wonderful adventures here in Florida with my amazing fiance. And as always, guys, I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. And I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye. It is a revolutionary asset, it's, a, it's a revolutionary essential for artists who strive to express themselves through the art of makeup. I was trying to do this. I was trying to do this the right way. Through hello, 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 hello. Okay, Dorty, like a little Roy, Roy Bib. Roy Bib? I feel like I'm dressing up to be one of the characters from Skywalk. Like, I feel like I'm dressing up as Padme from Skywalk. <laughs> okay, I am so lost. Brush cleaner! You're hiding, and I, I don't blame you for hiding. Why not take a crazy chance? Oh, yes. I mean it though. You guys watch for Bob Ross. He's coming! <laughs>